Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I know I haven't been active lately. Herman's been keeping the channel flow as usual, but I'm back because something triggered me and something didn't trigger her, but I had to bring her along. <laughs> um, and yeah, so what's happened recently is basically there's a college admission scandal. So a bunch of students have been getting in based on a scam company um, that's been faking SAT scores, that's been um, making students who aren't athletes or haven't even played the sport at all, um, they're basically accepting those students as college athletes. So if you want to hear our thoughts on that, keep watching and let's do it. So let's just give a quick like rundown of what the scam is. So um, there are about 50 people, right? Like yep, 50. 50 yep. 50 ish people charged. Um, it was like an FBI investigation. It started a while ago. It's called Operation Varsity Blues, which is probably. Varsity what. Blues. I like the name. <laughs> very, very nice name. Basically, there are these parents and they want their kids to get into a good school, but the kids are idiots and they're not even athletes, so, you know, they have nothing going for them. So, how are the parents going to get these dumb kids, even though they're wealthy and they have all the advantages, how are they going to get these dumb idiots into college, you know? <laughs> Normally, you know, you can do a lot of different methods, including paying a college a million dollar fee, getting a building, and there you go, you're in the school, right? Holy However, God. these people try to cheapskate their way through. They didn't pay the million dollars for the building. Instead, they use this company. So this company is called, what, The, the key? key? The Key. Oh my goodness. There are people at the school, like either college um, coaches, that basically recommend students as athletes that they want to put onto their team even though they have no int intention of actually having them play on the field or wherever mm -hmm. and that's basically you so the kid gets into the college yeah um, another thing that the company did is they basically help you get a good SAT score so this is we're not talking about college prep here <laughs> we're talking <laughs> we're talking about the uh, the accelerated the version <laughs> it's the key exactly so the Proctors, you know, the people that you look up to that you're scared of when you're taking the SAT, those, those people were in on it. So they have certain centers where the proctors know what's going on. They're, they're getting paid by this key company or whatever. Take your test and they either help you out right there or they take your test and then they change the answers to make them more correct. A ton of different things. Or they'll things. turn a blind eye if you have like a like an earpiece in, which is I think that what they were saying. Or they'll not really match your ID to you, so you might have somebody who's a professional taking your exam. Like there's a lot of different various ways that the proctors could have helped scan yeah. the scores. There are actually several different schools, really good schools, that have had people in positions that have been you know involved with this company. Yeah. So I think Yale was even one of the companies. One of the coaches at Yale was fake recruiting students and helping them get accepted the to Yale. Team, yeah. um, so, if you didn't know, Shaman's from Yale, or like he goes to the Yale Med School here. Um, and then uh, another, a couple of the other schools were like Stanford, UCLA, which are all USC. like all California schools that we're all really familiar with. Me and Sean are both from California. So, honestly, our first initial reaction to this was not surprising at all. <laughs> yeah, Me and Shaman were honest. both just like, Oh, so they, like, there's an article about it, they finally, like, caught someone? Cool. Like, <laughs> we yeah. know that this shit's been happening forever. Exactly. It's so funny how the internet basically exploded mm -hmm. when this has been going on for, like, years now. It's probably decades at this point. Yeah. And honestly, the reason I think this is a bigger deal in some people's eyes is because it's more overt. They see the money actually being exactly. transferred to a company. But also, I think a lot of people are interested because these are celebrities we know. Fire Olivia Jade, who's a YouTuber here, which is why I think the internet's also freaking out about it, is um, she was part of the scandal. And um, I think she paid 500000 for her daughter. Oh my which goodness. Is... Did she get into Harvard? <laughs> no, she got into USC. <laughs> and the ironic part is this girl has like college stuff on her YouTube channel. So now I think if it's like, I, I remember watching some of her videos, like her college videos, and now I'm just like, your college videos, eh? Very, uh, very full circle here. <laughs> I think for me and Jamin, like even additionally to like the building money and stuff, like again, I think people are freaking out because it's literally a bank account statement where you can see $500,000 or 50,000 or whatever going towards this action versus this stuff happens on a daily basis. like. Like there's people in admissions who know some of the applicants and who have like silent deals with the applicants or like they 
have personal relationships with the applicants, yeah. etc. But it's not like easily reportable. Or These are just all different forms of bribery, which is why me and Shaman don't find it that big of a jump to this article that was exposing people, but people, I guess, see it more overtly and are like, oh, that's happening. It's been happening. Yeah, I just feel like there have been so many instances in our personal lives, just being in academia for so long, where we've seen connections come through for people so many times where it's just like, I don't know, it's just so not surprising to us because we've seen it time and time again yeah, in our when personal are we, lives. When are we just gonna admit that your grades and whatnot matter less than you think? Yeah. When are we gonna admit daddy matters more? <laughs> than anyone else. Daddy matters the most. <laughs> Mommy matters the most. When are we going to admit daddy. this? Can we just... Like, even when I talk to some of my friends about this, like, um, some of my close friends in med school, they're just like, duh. Like, even they have the same reaction as me. Like, yeah, that's been happening. I've seen it happen. Like, they were also like, yeah, I've seen stuff happen where I know admissions, uh, SAT, like my friends, some of my S like friends who were taking the SAT would do stuff like that. Like, people have been doing this stuff for ever. Yeah. So what do you think about the fact that these kids are taking other people's spots, other people who have worked so hard either in studies or athletes who have really put in the grind? What do you think about those kids I think that's like who got the... that rejection letter and someone else got an acceptance letter without putting in any of that work? Yeah, exactly. I think that's what the main frustration is with people. You're taking away seats from people who have worked so, so, so hard, especially with the athletes thing, with the actual like they're taking a spot on someone's team at a Division One school where somebody has been working years and years and years and years for, practicing yeah. and practicing and practicing for. Especially since, like, there's probably a limited number of athletes exactly. that extend. Yeah. So that's, like, in people work tired, especially to get at college level for sports. You have to be, like, literally playing since you were, like, fifth grade every day, every night, like, putting in work in addition to school. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, at that point, if I was a student, I'd be pissed. Are they to blame though? Are you pissed at them? Yeah. Or are you pissed at both, the parents? Both. Both are disgusting to me. Because at the end of the day, you know what your mom's doing. <laughs> like, you know you're not a rowing, like, person because her dad took pictures of her rowing even though she never rowed a day in her life. Like, you know what you're posing for, you know what you're doing. Your parents are just the enablers who are, like, you know what I mean? Who have yeah. the resources. I was actually really surprised when I was looking into these stories and I actually read a lot of comments saying that the kids aren't to blame at all. It's more of the yeah, parents I think and that's the stupid. kids were unaware. And I actually totally disagree, disagree with that. I think a lot of people don't realize how much of a brain like An kids have or teenagers have. Like yeah. People aren't that stupid and unaware. I also think right? that the standard of the moral compass is deteriorating. It really like, is. It's going from like you're 18. It was never and, high to begin with. But like, I, mean, I feel like it's getting worse and worse yeah, though now. Because we're at like, rock bottom. Yeah, like when you're in the 1990s, you were still like, like our parents were doing stuff that like 19, like people are having kids, families, like responsibilities super young. Yeah, and now were, it's like. Now it's like, do you even know you scammed your way into college? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you have a moral compass developed at, for sure by 18. You know what's right and wrong. People are just giving so many excuses to kids nowadays. It's like, they're definitely wrong in this situation just as well. They know what they're doing with that headpiece in their ear. That's Cheating has been engraved in you since kindergarten where you have those little blinders between you. Like, yeah. you know what's cheating. Um, I don't agree with personally just yeah, viciously insulting or cursing at them, but to go to the other direction and say they're not to blame, yeah. that's equally naive. Wealthier people already have the advantage in the college process, right? Yeah. You can still take the prep courses. You have you the advantage of taking a tutor. You have the advantage of paying for all the expenses. You have Doing the advantage the of going to, a, yeah, going to a private high school that you pay money out of the ass to get a better education. Having Practically, connections exactly. that aren't and illegal, but that still can give you acceptance. Exactly. Experience. There's just tons of advantages. And to be advantaged, and to now need to be now need to cheat the system after that yeah. how bad of a candidate must you be yeah. when you already have a leg up uh -huh. and you have to cheat your way in yeah exactly in a less obvious way this happens in elite colleges in general across the country how many times have you heard presidents kids going to harvard or yale or it's not i'm not saying they don't deserve it but at the end of the day it's highly unlikely that like all of these crazy rich elite people are just some crazy geniuses that we don't know about. You know what I mean? Like, it's also very unlikely. Elite uh, like schools want a catalog of crazy alumni that people are like, I went to the same school, Heart, like Obama went to, I went to the same school, like this person went to, like 
obviously elite schools want that so at the end of the day i was even telling shaman like even if this girl didn't say or didn't pay her way through the system if she wrote an essay about how she's Lori laughlin's daughter that already probably would have gotten her in just like yeah. that stuff gets people into harvard and yale and everywhere else already yeah definitely you can't discount that yeah but ultimately it hurts the people who miss out on the opportunity whether it's sports teams whether it's people who actually struggled with their essay did like it's ultimately just hurting people who deserved it worked hard honestly and that's what's most angering and even like people who practice on a daily basis with sports like it just hurts those people and honest hard-working people the person who art orchestrated this entire thing yeah he's kind of a douche but um, for everyone else, I personally don't have a lot of anger towards them and it was a bad idea and you probably should have just paid for a building or something, but um, yeah. Or you could have just worked hard at school and said you're Lori Laughlin's daughter. Like that's also not hard. You could have just gotten some decent grades and said you were her daughter and still gotten in. Exactly. You literally right. have to have like half decent grades. That's how the system works. Like, if you're some crazy celebrity's daughter, private schools are gonna love you. Just have some decent grades that don't like deflate their stats completely. Yeah. Any last thoughts? No, just generally, it's another instance, another day, another instance of elite connections, networking, just that whole status symbol prevalent in academia. Nothing new. Just a, just a video to talk about it with you guys. And obviously, the typical bribery, mm -hmm. um, with buildings or connections, whatnot. And that's the unspoken good. bribery. Yeah. And that's going to be a problem forever. Yep. Until then, or until I get out of hibernation one of these days to make another video, Beneath will be taking over my channel. No, I will mm, not. Good <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll see Herman on here soon, probably. Um, but maybe I'll get someone to make another appearance, maybe on my channel or something. But um, yeah, other than that, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. All right. Later. Bye.